What's up, guys? Me Alan. I'm back. And we got the cup race coming up in a little bit. Uh, but right now, I wanted to make a quick little video talking about uh, the Joe Graves Jr. Greg Golding incident because they both went on Serious Like Them. They both talked about it. And I'm going to read their comments or what they said uh, per my good buddy, uh, Jacob Seelman, who's been, you know, listening and, you know, and getting all this down, tweeted it out. I'm going to talk, I'm going to read that and then I'm going to give my thoughts. So jumping right into it, we have Joe's comments and Joe Grab Jr. said, uh, with about 75 to go, Gray wreck, just wrecked us. You have to fight for respect out there. If you don't talk to someone after an issue, that doesn't happen. There was no understanding. He tried to blame me. He had no intention going into that corner other than to wreck us. I won't be raced like that. Now, what happened was Graf and Blaine Perkins were battling for a spot going into the corner. Uh, Perkins was on the top. Graf was on the bottom. Golding went into the corner, got in the back of Graf, and Graf spun and collected Perkins. They both hit the. They both got in the wall. Graf took got most of the damage. He ended up having to retire for the race. After that, Perkins was able to continue, but he was multiple laps down. And Golding ended up finishing, I think, in the top twenty or just outside of it. Uh, but yeah, he flat out dumped him. And Gray would affirm that. And this is the reason why I make the video because. I've got an issue with with Gray and what he had to say, but let's just read it, all right? So he says, I'd do it, you know, wreck him, all over again. He's a moving chicane. He can't get out of his own way. When I got there, he was holding up the line. Bro, he was racing against Blaine Perkins, but go off. He was holding up the line, and I had to go. It was getting late. I have no regrets. I respect Bobby Daughter and those guys. I hate it for those guys, though. After a while, when a guy chops you countless times, you just have to move him out of the way. And then he said, oh, yeah. And then he says, he reaffirms, I 100% flat out wrecked him. I'm tired of putting up with how he races me. All right, Gray. Let's get, right, well, you know what? No, let's get a few things out of the way first. Number one, this is Joe Graff Jr.'s second full-time season in Xfinity. Last year, he was a rookie. If you're going to make the moving chicane argument, I can see that if it were last year. Because last year, and you have to add to this no practice and being a rookie it there were some there were some times where he had some pretty good runs he was in the top 20 but the finishes weren't there and there were other times where it just nothing was going right this year he's looked a lot better he managed to avoid five different wrecks at Daytona in the opener and I'm not even shitting you like go watch that race again if you can he avoided like five different wrecks that he probably should have been caught up in, but he wasn't. Got out of there unscathed and ended up finishing with an 11th place finish. His best in the Xfinity series. He's looked pretty solid the rest of the races. And furthermore, he had not had a single incident this season up until, Gra or up until Golding dumped him. So basically, and I, th I think Graf was actually the last Xfinity driver to get an incident thus far this season. Yeah. How about that? So that's one. Two, and I know people are, two and three, and I know people are going to bring up both of these arguments, and I'm going to shut them down right now. The first is, people will bring up that Graf failed to qualify in an RCR car. Context matters, and I saw somebody mention this in one of my, in one of the Twitter chats that I'm in, that apparently the team left the weights in or something, I don't know the full validity of that statement, but if that's true, context, you know, context matters in general. And if that's true, y'all been fucking that one up. But either way, and the other argument that people will bring up is Gray lost his right. Because remember, he used to race for SS, for SS Greenlight. He was in the 08. And that he lost, he got booted out of it for Graf. That's bullshit. Gray left, Golden got, or Graf got the ride. Um... I know, uh, I know I've seen a tweet about it, but I think it's since been deleted, um, but I'd have to look into it more, but either way. That all being said, Gray, dude, you also have a lot more experience than Graf does, no matter what. I mean, hell, you've raced in the Cup Series, man. Back the fuck off. 
Like, seriously. Like, first of all, you didn't even have to go into the corner that hard. Because that's, yeah, that's basically what you did. And two, again, you want to use the rolling chicane argument? He's not. He, he's been running solid all season. You know, a couple of eh finishes, but it's also still early. We still have a hell of a lot of the season left to go. But he's looked a lot better this year than he did last year, even as a rookie, and even still not having practice. So, with that said, look. Come on. And you know what? They ended up getting into a fight. Well, more like a scruffle, a brouhaha, as Chiseled, as Chiseled Adonis would say, um, after the race. It is what it is. Um, just move on to next week. So just wanted to come on and talk about that real quick. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't the comments that Gray made, I'm not a fan of that. Um, to be real with you. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you all later for the uh Cup Series race review. See you then.